we are gonna rip open some battery battery packs The reason we're going to be doing that is I plan on making a 3S or 4S, hopefully 100P pack, and I plan to... Alright, I'm going to put it outside in the cold weather because it gets cold as you know what here. Like we can have weeks below zero, like negative eight. It can go on for weeks at a time. So my plan is to make this pack and then set it outside. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it yet, if I can put it on the porch or there's a little tiny pad of concrete kind of away from the house just in case it blows up and also just like you heard in the last video I talked Jaren into letting me keep the Watchmon one for just a little bit longer for this test I mean I really don't want to leave the actual Watchmon and stuff outside I'll have to see how long I can make the wires again because I kind of forgot but if I have to keep the Watchmon outside I'll put that in a separate box so it can't get damaged or anything like that I have four extra long mons um, probably over there in that box too so each pack will have its own long mon it'll be basically a regular Batrium set up. The reason I want to do that is I want to find out how bad it will mess up your cells. Will it blow up? I have no clue what it's going to do. And I'm also going to put a small 12 volt, probably a 12 volt UPS on this for a small load. And I also have three small solar panels that are 12 volt and I do have one extra PCM 60X charge controller so I can make all of this like a legit setup. The solar panels, there's two of them that are 45 watts and those are poly panels and then I have one 60 watt mono panel. It's not going to recharge the crap out of them or anything like that, but hopefully it'll keep up with the load from the small 12 volt UPS. So that is the plan. I have a whole bunch of medical packs and laptop packs. I'm going to shoot for maybe like the 15 to 1900 milliamp hours for this test. Again, like I said, it would be awesome if I had like three or 400 brand new cells to test this because obviously that would be the very best test, but I don't. I'm using what I have here. I guess depending on what kind of cells we get, that will determine on the 3S or 4S and how many P. So let's get started. Those are too hard to open. Not doing those right now. Don't remember if these ones are hard to open or not. All right, I got two different kinds here I'm gonna open up. I think these are kind of easy to open. I believe they have Sanyos in them. And then I also have these ones, all right, these, oh, they say new in 2014. Unipower, oh, they're rebuilds. These are Shenzhen Midray Biomedical Electronics. Model number is L123S001A. These ones are Midray, it says bad battery on it, of course. I got some cut hair on me, and it's still on my glove. And I can't find the model number on this one. But 11.1 .1 volts and 4,600 milliamp hours, 51.06 watt hours. This one is 11.1 .1 volts, 4.4 .4 amp hours. So I believe both of these have the red Sanyos in it, but we'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. The black ones like to open up like this. This is the only thing that sucks about medical cells, they're so hard to get open. There we go. Jesus. I hope I didn't crush the battery in here. Yeah, these are like a pain in the ass to get open. Nope, I didn't crush the battery, so that's good. These ones usually pop open a little easier, usually. There we go. Oh, these got blue ones in it. Intec. <laughs> you guys ever heard of a cell like that? Intec. I L I 26065 AF 1431. What the hell is that? I've never even heard of that. Looks like that one's going to have to go on the second life storage cell thingy. All right, those ones are a little easier to get open. You're supposed to be easy. Okay. 
And these are T Energy ICR18650 2200s, 3.6 volts. Looks like we got another one for the cell database. These are white and they don't have any markings on them whatsoever. There's some little sanding marks on here where they re-spot weddled them. Sweet. grays in here they say 22 on here that would be kind of cool if they were pretty close to that because if i could get enough cells to do a 3 or 4s 100p pack that i could throw outside out of all these chinese cells that would be freaking awesome i don't know we'll just throw them all in here and see what we got Boom. All right, all of these are going. Um, I'm gonna have to break out the Awesomest 18650 charger real quick too, I think, to charge the rest of these up. All right, so after that last little gray batch, all of these cells right here are only showing millivolts. So I'm gonna have, well, I'm gonna try to bump charge them to get them a little bit higher and see if they will charge. These ones right here are showing below two volts. Most are a half a volt or one volt. So I'm gonna have to bump charge those as well. And these uh, eight right here are the only ones that were above two volts. And a couple of them were four and three. So I'm gonna throw those in the 18650 awesomest battery charging thingy. I want to use this as much as I can before I send it to the next person. Which I was probably supposed to do a long time ago, but you know what? I might as well get some use out of it before I send it. Don't you think? I'm gonna throw those eight cells in there and then we'll do some bump charging.
All right, so I kind of got tired of doing the bump charging for all these cells because there are so many. So I just made a 16 parallel charger right here. I put a couple ends on the side so I could at least bump charge it right here until the voltage got up high enough. And I added just one TP4056 so it would slowly charge all these cells because they were like the 0.39s or 0.04. And right now the voltage is at 3.61. Now these will put out one amp as long as the charger that's hooked up is at least one amp and the charger that I have hooked up is not one amp so it's just super super slow right now but since the voltage is at 3.61 I can transfer all of these out of here and put them over here say hi why you're gonna jump up on the table aren't you yep looking for a jumping spot yeah jumping spot and I wasn't even recording that whole time. So basically I was just showing the bottom of this real quick. I just got a positive rail and a negative rail. TP4056 TP right there. And of course the positive and negative there. I just transferred all the cells over to the Awesomest 18650 battery charger thingy. And that is it. Basically the TP4056 is going to slowly bring up the voltage of these cells so they can kind of acclimate, I guess, to being charged. When you do this, you just wanna slowly bring up the voltage. And then after it's kind of stable for a little while, then I'll move it to the battery charger to fully charge. With these cells, I'll probably do a couple of tests on them just to make sure. Alrighty, we're just about at the end of all the cells that I opened up. Now, I did find a box of cells that I've already used in other packs. They all, they all have solder on them. Do you guys think I should use these? Some of these were from a 12 volt UPS and the other ones I actually think were from pack 14 like here's a 2023 should I recheck these and if they're over the 15 or whatever threshold we come up with should I use these or should I not use these that is the question so I have that many of those so far we've tested there's about 30 right here there's about 80 or so in this pile there's about 70 in the blue pile and these are the wants there's a couple heaters and stuff right here and that one right there i wrote lol on it because it says 4598 so that one is a heater um, i want to say these other red ones right here were a heater too which i'm just going to put in there and these ones right here are all like 18s and 19s so i will probably use those as well i'm just keeping the lower ones away from the higher ones you know what these grays and blues are actually turning out really good i mean 21s 25s 22s you know anywhere from 20 all the way up to 25 26 i think there's a 27 in there as well so i'm hoping this pack might turn out to be pretty good i don't know should i use all these i might as well they're all chinese and i'll get I'll probably end up throwing in some Sanyos and whatever these white ones are too. So that's where we're at right now. I've got the extremely low cells over here charging up. I got these five low voltage cells going up as well. And I have this box right here, which is 1500 to 1900. So I could use all of those as well. I could technically use all these green ones. I mean, I'm just not a big fan of these green ones. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just not. I just never have good luck with those, but I put all the green ones in here and the other fake cells and other ones yeah like here's a fake cell uh, yeah I don't even know what that is so I've got a couple of fake cells in here that I could throw in this pack. So I've got a couple of those to take apart and I'll probably end up ripping apart a few more of those medical packs, the gray ones. They're kind of a pain in the ass to get into. Those ones have the red Sanyos in it. I don't know how good they're gonna be. The only one that I opened because it turned out to be a big pain in the ass, the cells weren't very good. So I don't know yet. I might rip some open, we'll see. I also bought enough cell holders from Keith for a 4S 100P pack, just in case we get that many cells, I guess if we don't use all these then I'll use them for something else. I'm getting closer to the camera again. Like I said at the beginning, the plan is to build a 3 or 4S 100P pack and throw it outside with the UPS. I'm going to have three solar panels on it. They're not huge panels or anything, but it will recharge it a little bit. I guess we'll find out, right? And I have the other PCM60X charge controller and, of course, the Baytrium. All this is going to go on it so we can, yeah, do something. We can find out if anything's going to happen. Oh, and I also, if anybody knows how I could set up a 
camera and, and possibly the Batrium screen so everybody could see it if they want to, let me know because I don't have the slightest clue how to do that. I do have a website, but it was mainly geared towards t-shirts and then we kind of switched t-shirts and my t-shirts are on Amazon now. So my website only shows all my YouTube videos right now. So I don't, I didn't really tell many people about it. If I could set up like a live feed camera and the Batrium on there, would you guys be interested in something like that? I've got a couple of CCTV type cameras or whatever they're called, closed circuit. I'm not sure. I have a couple of those. I have cameras and stuff I could put out there. So get a hold of me. We'll figure it out. If anybody would be interested in seeing something like that. I don't know. It was just a thought. All right, so I have a lot more work to do to get this done because it is, what is it, November? It's November right now. November the 15th. So basically, as soon as I can get enough cells, I can throw these packs together, make a couple of bus bars, you know, get it up and running and maybe do a couple of load tests on it so we can get something to compare it by at the very end of winter. And if there's anything else that you guys can think of, make sure you put it in the comment section down below. All right, that's all I got. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share if you want to and I'll see you on the next one. Boom out. Today we're gonna rip open a hole. A hole? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna, of course. Beeping. Shut it. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm sure I'm forgetting all sorts of stuff, but all right, while well, that's charging, we got a new cat. It's not new, but it was a feral cat and we've been feeding it for the last year or so. Here's a couple of pictures, by the way. Definitely climbs the screen door on the outside when she wants in. So in the beginning, we thought she was a he, so Lauren named her Angus. And then I took a closer look, and I think it's a girl, so we changed it to Agnes. Here she is. Come here, girlfriend. Look at that. I can hear you. She's a loud breather. Hi, what are you doing? Come here. Agnes, come here. Hi. Hi there. Say hi to everybody. You gonna be the new cat that comes in all the videos? Hmm? You gonna be the new one? Huh? You gonna be the new one? And we think she's been spayed because she has a cut, sliced ear. Oh, you can't see her. Come over here. She has a sliced ear on that ear right there. So we think uh, she's been spayed, you know, and, and shots and all that kind of stuff before we got her. I think it was like a catch and release program. So this is the newest addition. Say hello, Agnes. Hey, where are you going? Okay. Good job. Yeah, and she, uh, definitely a mouth breather, aren't you? Yeah. Going back over here, girlfriend. Cat butt. Nice. Oh, and I started cleaning up the hoard pile just a little bit. Kind of sorted through a little bit, got rid of some stuff, and put more stuff into boxes. Now I know you can't really tell, but I can tell, damn it. All right, let's get back to the, the batteries. And you know what, surprisingly, these batteries so far, a lot of them, a lot of them are really high. Like 23, 24, 2500 milliamps. So, I mean, do I wanna use the Chinese fake cells for this test? Or do I wanna use more name brand cells? I have no idea, cause I was not expecting these cells to be that high. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Should I use all these Chinese cells for this test? Or should I kinda mix it with all the cells? I don't, I don't know, I'm kinda confused now. I was not expecting this. I mean, I could make this out of all the Chinese cells and call it like, made in China, built in the USA pack or something. Kinda need something to roll off the tongue a little smoother than that, but we could just call it made in China. 